So if you haven't been following the drama in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community these past couple days, this is what this video is about. There's a lot to discuss. A lot of puking horses for some reason. And a lot of balanced discussion. But the main takeaway, and I think the big TLDR, is that we actually have a balanced date. At the end of the day, Konami caved and gave us a date so that everybody would shut up. The problem is, it was two days before the actual drop. Um, and this is why I can make this video, because every time I want to make a video, I need to think, is a balance going to drop today and ruin this entire video? Thankfully, now I don't have to think that tomorrow the balance is going to come out. It's the big announcement. Um, so tomorrow, check back in for the balanced reaction. But this is what sparked the entire debate. Konami giving us an actual range of, of possible dates for the balance in late August. And this was a tweet uh, almost a month ago, I think. Um, just to alleviate some pressure before the WCQs so that people know, okay, this is going to be the format we play in. This was a good piece of communication. People really, really liked this. People really commended Konami for doing this. And people were, were happy, right? But as time went on, late August, we're already on August 30th. So people were thinking, okay, maybe 15, 16, checking every Monday, banlist watches for two weeks. The balance hasn't dropped at all. So before we get into the discussion, please just watch until the end of the video before commenting. I know a lot of you like to comment before, like to take things out of context. I have a lot of important things to say, and I think it's important for you to just hear my entire piece rather than just a part of it, right? So let's start off with the rundown. So this tweet started everything. People were just getting extremely frustrated. And the way that people were retaliating, sort of retaliating against Konami for not releasing a balance, because it's important to understand that other games have good balance communication or like patches if it comes to like Hearthstone or something like that. Players usually know like when is the next update, as they should. There's no reason to keep it hidden. And in fact, the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game is split into the OCG side and the TCG side. The OCG players, the Japanese players have a set date it's like every three months exactly they, have, they get an update and they know when that's going to drop so how come like the west doesn't get that sort of inequality is weird so people were of course getting really pissed off and this is a trend that started on twitter <laughs> every time konami would post because they're posting now a lot of and this is great by the way i love these they're posting leaks and reveals from the tins every like couple days and it's really really cool i like this keep doing this konami but the problem is that this was becoming a trend in the comments <laughs> i have to say first of all this is an ai generated image of a horse um, because there were so many of these people actually came to the conclusion that horses can't throw up like this so it's important to understand that this is a fake image it's not a real horse throwing up so people started posting these horse pictures for some reason, under Konami's tweets in the comments. And, you know, this is sort of like the way sometimes there's like a protest or a demonstration and people use a style of a ribbon or an emoji to display their, you know, solidarity with the, with the goal of that protest or demonstration. And in terms of the ban list, this is the symbol of the rebellion, right? People want... A ban list. And this is what started to happen. And eventually, after everything, like after a few days where every post was just bombar bombarded with, with the horse pictures, um, there was a stream for the Master Duel Nocturne Shadow Duelist event where people have identified successfully that Zayn Malik came to, to help Yu-Gi-Oh! to... to brand itself for some reason. We'll talk about that in a second. So there was a huge event. There was a live stream. And eventually, like, it, I watched, I re-watched it at the start of the of the stream. Billy Break actually announced it's coming August 31st. And they also updated the description of the video. So instead of just, like, Konami revealing it just instead of late August saying August 31st, they just put it in the description and kind of, like, blurbed it out in the stream so then 
what conspired is that um, people started to, to kind of like backlash on the people posting the horse pictures, saying it's unfunny, saying that people should stop harassing Konami employees or interns. And it was kind of like a, a sort of like a civil war within the Yu-Gi-Oh community at some point because of these horse images. So this is a, a post from, from Josh who I respect and I like. I don't necessarily disagree with this point, but I'm going to give my personal opinion on it. Um, this is just an example of people saying that Konami is going to now punish the player base because of this retaliation and protest over a lack of basic communication and saying that now they're going to release this the latest in August as a punishment for how we've been acting, not me personally, but how we've been acting on social media and that it's justified that Konami would actually punish the player base for some reason. So late August, Konami actually released this 10 minutes ago as I'm recording this, making sure people know it's the 31st, essentially tomorrow from recording this video. So let's go back to, is it justified for people to demonstrate the way that they did? First of all, I think horse memes, if this is what people have chosen to show their discontent with how Konami is um, running the game, I think it's fine. I mean, I think this is, this might not be, I don't find this particularly funny or this is like the most hilarious thing I've, I've seen, but this is a symbol of something bigger. People are just frustrated by car design, players quitting, set structures, rarity models, card prices, lack of support for tournaments in the EU, by the way. I don't know if anybody noticed, but there's no regionals in the EU currently. And of course, pricing, which has been a huge topic this year, and eventually, the biggest one out of them all, which I still don't understand how it is acceptable, the ban list, the lack of balanced communication, not even giving a time frame, just giving nothing as communications for when it's going to release. So people are obviously frustrated about more things than just this specific ban list, or like late August, and they are trolling Konami in the comments. Now I've heard... I've read online that people were calling Konami support, harassing interns. I haven't personally seen any of that. However, I don't support harassing people personally, um, threatening people, um, bigotry, hatred, none of this. I think I'm okay with protesting with memes not with anything else. But I think the, the main conversation is about the memes. So people are extremely frustrated. Horse memes are like, okay, whatever. It's not here or there. It's a way for people to show their discontent. And I think it's, it's valid. So my two cents on this is that we need Konami to listen somehow. And I think this has apparently got them to listen. Because eventually, like, you wouldn't have gotten a post like this in, like, early times, right? This, this was not a commonplace thing. They would just drop a ban list one day, and that's it. We have some communication, so you can look at it like Josh has, um, and a lot of other people who I saw. Josh is just an example. Konami's punishing the players for posting horse memes, so they're pushing it to the latest of the latest of August. So if that is true... I don't believe it's true, but if that is true, that's not a way to run a company in a community. Like you can do so much better as a company to just make people comfortable and give them the basic things that they want. Nobody's asking for $2 staples. Nobody's asking for guaranteed secret rares in every pack. People are just asking for basic communication for when the game is going to get an update. And as people who buy cards for hundreds or thousands of dollars yearly, I think it's acceptable to, to ask that of, of a company that's running the game. And I think the company can just do that and oblige like they do on the Japanese side. People will be extremely happy. 
Just as a reminder, people were super happy about this. This was a huge W for Konami. But instead, they just kind of pushed it. Is it okay to retaliate because people don't give you like a balance each day? Maybe not, but it wasn't that big of a deal. And if Konami is punishing the player base like this, who wants to even support a company like that, to be honest? But I don't think that's the case. I actually think it's the opposite. I actually think the August 31st date was actually planned in advance because of the Zayn Malik event. They wanted to make sure people are very hyped about that and then release it at the end of August. And this post right here and the fact that they announced it on stream and in writing in the description is the result of people's outcry. And I think this is a W for the community. I think this is what happens when a community comes together. Again, not supporting anything negative on like, you know, calling people, threatening, but when a community comes together to show and like protest and outcry for a game that they love, then maybe this is the result. Maybe this is fine. Maybe this is a good outcome. Maybe Konami's like, okay, we can step up our communication game if we don't want our comments to be full of puking horses, which is okay. Now, I'm not going to talk about the Zayn Malik event. I think um, this is obviously like, they, they gave Zayn a big bag of money to do this. Um, he might be a fan. I don't really know. I don't actually really care. Uh, if you're happy about Zayn Malik being a Master Duel mascot, I think this stream was absolutely cringe-ish. It wasn't the best. Konami, you can do better, but at least they're trying to do something. If you put as much money and effort into the TCG community, then um, it'll probably be, be better. Lastly, I want to touch on my final point, which is the most important one. Don't let Konami's mismanagement of the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game come between us as a community. This is actually what's been going on on Twitter right now. Some of, Many of you are not active there, so I'm like conveying this to you from a perspective of someone who is, people have been starting to come at each other, and this is the opposite of what needs to happen right now. Good things happen when communities come together. Don't let Konami tear this community apart. It's already kind of like broken up on Twitter specifically just because of annoying people. So make sure you're, you're respectful of each other. Make sure you remember that our goal is to make the game better. And don't let this situation come between us as a, as a group of people. Because I think we all want the best for the game. We all love the game. We, we, all want, we all want the basic things. So, yeah. These are my thoughts. <laughs> Leave your comments below. I'll see you tomorrow for the ban list. How exciting. See you guys. Thanks.